Hello everybody and welcome to the website penetration testing section. Now before we begin with explaining some of the basic terms and things you will need to know, we, let me just show you where you can download the intentionally vulnerable virtual machine that we will use as a web pen testing machine. So you just go uh, open up your Google Chrome and type this link into your search bar which is https sourceforge.net slash projects slash OWASP, OWASP BWA. When you type that, it will lead you to this page where you basically just click here on the download. Once you click here on the download, it should start downloading the 1.7 gigabytes large file, zip file, which you which will take some time to install, but once it does, the process of installing the virtual machine itself is rather easy and fast. So, since I have already this zip file installed on my uh, Windows 10 host machine, I will close this installation process or downloading process. You just wait for it to finish and you will basically end up with this file right here. Well, not this file, this file right here, which is the OWASP Broken Web Apps VM 1.2.7z. The file, as you can see, is a WinRAR file and it is zipped. It is the size of 1.69 gigabytes. And once you get this file, you want to extract it. So just extract it to any folder you want and you will get all of these files right here. Now you might be asking why we have all of these VMDKs right here. Well, we only are interested in the first one, which isn't any type of S001002. You will use only this one. And I will show you how to make the virtual machine right now. So open up your virtual box. Once you extracted all of these files, you just go here on the new. And here, you type here the name of your virtual machine, you can name it OWASP if you want to. You Here you pick the Linux and here you pick the Ubuntu A64 bit. So find Ubuntu 64 bit and just type here next. You cannot create the machine folder OWASP in parent. Okay, so I already have this machine so I can just type here OWASP1 and here you can leave it on 512 megabytes, it doesn't matter. So just click here next and under the hot disk you go to the use an existing virtual hard disk and you try to find, let me just show you, if you open up the extracted folder, you want to click on the first one, which is the OWASP broken web apps minus CL1.vmdk. So you pick that one and click here open and choose. Once you choose that, just click here on create and you created your virtual machine. So in order to start your virtual machine, just click here on start and basically it will finish the process of installation the virtual machine by itself. So we will just wait for it since it doesn't take that long. After that, it will prompt you with the uh, username and password for the virtual machine, which while this is installing, let me write you into the notepad file. So the username will be where is the equal sign will be root and the password will be OWASP BWA. So once it prompts you with the username and password, just type these two right there. Now this also, as well as Metasploitable, is not a GUI machine. It was basically, it is basically a command line machine. So you will only be able to execute commands from here. As we can see, it prompted us with a login. So OSBWA login, type here root. And as a password, type here OSBWA. OSBWA. And once you do that, it will log in into your command line. And the only thing we want to do from here is basically configure our IP address in order to uh, be a part of our local network. Now, be careful. If you don't expose this machine to the untrusted network as it is a machine full of vulnerabilities so if you can just keep it on host only or on the net but in my case I will just 
to uh, put it on the bridge adapter since I will perform scans from another virtual machine that is also on the bridge adapter so we want to make them both belong to our local host so in order to do that first of all just close this machine so you need to close it type here OK go on to the settings for that virtual machine basically we just do the same thing that we did for our Cal Linux go under network find bridge adapter and choose your network interface once you do that also make sure cable connected is checked and click here OK and you are set to go so right here if we type here if we open up our machine I will show you what things do we get from it and in the next lectures I will teach you some of the basic stuff you need to know in order to continue web pen testing now just wait for it to boot up and once again it will prompt you with username and password and once it does that we are good to go our machine is up and running a bunch of vulnerable programs that we can pen test So here we can see it is starting a bunch of the programs. Tomcat web server. And here it even says in all these cases you can use a root as username and password OS PVA. So in case you forgot you can just read it from up here and type here the password and it will log in to you to your command line. So if we type here once again I have config we will have a IP address of 192.168.1.9 which belongs to our local network. Now let me show you what happens when we visit that IP address. So just go onto your Kali machine or from your host machine it doesn't even matter. Open up your Firefox and type here the IP address of your virtual machine. It will lead you to this page and you will see a bunch of these options right here which you can click on for example if we go OWASP right here you will get a bunch of as you can see malicious file execution information leakage improper error handling this is just a bunch of programs running for you to test and we will cover most of them not all of them since that will take a lot of time but most of them you can even see some of the login pages as we can see authentication required we have no idea how to get in here but we will find out soon enough as we can see Apache Tomcat it gives us the version a bunch of vulnerable programs that we will test in the future videos but until then you can experiment and see what kind of things we have right here and we will pen test them later on after I finish explaining some of the basic stuff you need to know in order to continue so this is it for this lecture uh, we'll cover the HTTP protocol in the next lecture and I hope I see you there. Take care.